Looking for a quick way to start testing Klaviyo's APIs? Look no further than Klaviyo's Postman collection. Postman is an external tool that helps you test API calls. Klaviyo's Postman collection comes pre-configured, so you can start making Klaviyo API calls within minutes. In this video, you'll learn how to fork Klaviyo's API collection in Postman, set up authorization, navigate the Postman user interface, and finally, make API calls using Postman. But first, don't forget to like and subscribe to see more content like this. To follow along, you'll need to sign up for Postman and either download the app or open the web version and create a private API key in Klaviyo. I'll be using the Postman app, but the steps are the same for the web version. First, let's make a copy or fork of Klaviyo's API collection. Forking the collection saves a copy to your Postman account. This becomes your personal collection, so you can test and modify it as needed. Once you have Postman open, search Klaviyo in the search bar at the top. Click on Klaviyo Developers to see the Klaviyo Developers workspace, which includes several API collections. Click on the first collection, which should say Latest Stable, then click Fork. You can name your fork whatever you'd like. For this example, I will just call it Michaela's Fork. Leave the default settings as they are, and keep the Watch Original Collection box checked so that you are notified if the collection changes. Finally, click Fork Collection. Now, when you open Postman, you will see your forked collection in the Collections tab on the left. To make API calls, you need to authorize them using your Klaviyo API keys. Let's set them up as variables so that every call automatically uses a correct key. First, click on your collection name, then open the Authorization tab. Ensure the key is Authorization, and the value is Klaviyo API key, followed by this private key variable. If you haven't created a private API key yet, pause the video now and follow our guide to setting up your development environment. Hover over Private Key and paste your private API key in the Value field. Click Collection, then press Enter. This will set the private API key to authorize all server-side API calls in your fork of Klaviyo's Postman collection. Next, set up your public API key to authorize client-side API calls by expanding the client dropdown. Select one of the client-side endpoints. In the Params tab, hover over Company ID. Paste your public API key, which is your six-digit Klaviyo account ID, in the value field. You can find this ID under the API keys header in your Klaviyo account settings. Press Enter to save this variable. Awesome! You only need to set up these variables once, and Postman will remember them. Now that we're all set up, let's explore Postman's interface. In the Collections tab, you'll see all Klaviyo API endpoints organized by resource type, just like they are in the documentation. Click on an endpoint to open a pre-configured API call. I'll click the Collections tab to minimize it for better visibility. At the top, you'll see the request method is get. This means this endpoint is used to get or retrieve data, and this can also be found in this endpoint's documentation. The request URL is shown here and starts with a variable called base URL. Hover over this variable to see that the value of base URL is a.clavio.com. So the entire request URL for this endpoint is a.clavio.com slash API slash profiles. The params tab shows query parameters that can be used to filter or alter your data in some way. For this example, I want to retrieve all data about all profiles, so I will not use any query parameters. The authorization tab is pre-filled with the private API key authorization we just set up. The headers tab contains required metadata, namely the required authorization and revision headers. The next tab is body, which is used for requests that require additional data, such as creating a profile. Get profiles does not require a body, so we can leave this as none. For the purposes of the Klaviyo API collection, 
We will not need to use scripts, tests, or settings, so you can ignore these three tabs. One more cool thing to note is that if you click on the documentation button on the right hand side, the documentation for this endpoint is shown right here in Postman for reference. This includes information like rate limits, required headers and authorization, query parameters, and more. Now that we've found our way around Postman, let's make our API call. We've been looking at the Get Profiles API endpoint, which retrieves information about all profiles in your Klaviyo account. All I've done so far is click Get Profiles on the left. A Get request doesn't require a body. All it needs is to be authorized to pull data from the correct Klaviyo account. Without making any changes, I can click Send. And voila! We just made an API call that went through and provided the data we need. We can tell that this call went through successfully because of this 200 OK status. Any status in the 200s that says OK means that this was a successful API call. The bottom section of Postman here is called the response and contains the data you requested. In this case, the response contains all profiles in my Klaviyo account, just as we asked for. Making a GET request in Postman is that easy. You just need to click the endpoint and click Send. Some API endpoints require additional setup. For instance, to create a profile, click on the Create Profile endpoint on the left, then navigate to the Body tab. This tab is pre-populated with the data that is possible to send with this endpoint, like identifying information and custom profile properties. You can customize the body as you see fit, then click Send to create a new profile. Klaviyo's Postman collection makes it easy to access and use all of Klaviyo's API endpoints. Use this powerful tool for troubleshooting, testing API calls, and managing data in your Klaviyo account. If you found this content helpful, be sure to like and subscribe. Also, check out the description for more resources like this to help you scale and grow with Klaviyo.